Six. Seven, eight. Yes! There we go. Now, what else do we have to do? Uh, I'm back. Nope. I need my notes. Ah, let me do it. Where's the steam engine? Okay, let's let's look at this here. Go to here. It's cold. It's so cold. Oh, it is. Okay. There are only two spare rods left in the, in the storage for elevator machinery. Make sure the, to only discard one, which is are badly damaged. Which are badly damaged. We keep the others for the inner study room. In the cells, all three will break up. So, so. Fourteenth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia, he said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote. I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. <gasps> what am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Man, I really want to keep playing, but uh, I have to go, so bye.